The United Nations or UN reports that the ozone layer could be restored to how it was before a gaping hole formed in the 1980s as a result of an internal agreement to stop the use of harmful chemicals. The agreement, also known as the Montreal Protocol, involved 46 countries phasing out the production and consumption of ozone-depleting substances since 1987. According to the report co-produced by UN, United States, and European Union agencies, if current policies are maintained, the ozone layer over the Antarctic, where ozone depletion was the worst, can be restored by 2066, 2045 over the Arctic, and around two decades for everywhere else. The report also suggests that saving the ozone layer has had a positive effect on global warming due to the phase-out of some greenhouse gases, preventing up to 1 degree Celsius of warming by 2015. However, there is a warning that certain events and strategies to limit global warming, such as sending millions of tons of sulfur dioxide into the upper atmosphere, could reverse the ozone layer's recovery. Back to you, Kath. Thank you, Therese Longbowen, reporting live from Japan.